Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk about Steamboat Willie, the famous and original cartoon featuring Mickey Mouse, one of the most important cartoons of all time, which just so happens to have recently entered public domain. And really, the results of it entering public domain are what we're going to be talking about today, because let's face it, they have been rather amusing to say the very least, as there are now Steamboat Willie comics courtesy of Stone Toss, a Steamboat Willie horror-themed movie, and a Steamboat Willie horror-themed video game, the latter of which also got into some culture war drama, as the game in question was set in 1988 and thus titled Infestation 88, which apparently made far leftists immediately think it was referencing Nazis. Yes, really, because the number 88 is a racist dog whistle, one of those dog whistles, by the way, that only far leftists ever seem to hear. Here. The same far leftists who tried to argue, by the way, in the exact same article, that they believe that Mickey Mouse is somehow an anti-Semitic depiction of Jewish people. So yes, another day, another example of far leftists telling on themselves. But getting back to the main topic at hand, this has all happened, all mind you, within a day or two of Steamboat Willie becoming public domain. It's quite clear that people have been waiting on this little event for quite a while, ready to pounce and make public their little projects the moment that Steamboat Willie hit public domain. And to be brutally honest, this is something that Disney has ultimately brought upon itself. To some degree anyways. Now, to some degree, it was inevitable that these sorts of things would happen the moment that Steamboat Willie hit public domain. We are, after all, talking about one of the most famous and important cartoons of all time, and also, by extension, one of the most important cartoon characters of all time as well. That said, again, there are absolutely things that Disney has done, which has resulted in people being all the more willing to do this than they otherwise might have. For a start, Disney has been exceptionally and ruthlessly anal when it comes to defending their IPs, to the degree that they get a reputation similar to Nintendo and Games Workshop. The end result being that the moment one of their IPs does become public domain and they have no means of actually enforcing their copyright anymore, then it paints that much bigger of a target on those aforementioned IPs. Something else that paints a bigger target in this manner is when you act holier than thou, especially towards your own customers. Something else that Disney has gained a nasty reputation for doing. This is especially the case whenever the conversation gets into the subject of the culture wars. So basically what I'm saying is things would probably not be so extreme right now if Disney hadn't shown so much animosity towards their own customers. A radical concept, I know, but one that I strongly suspect is very much the case. Now, normally, this would be the point where I would be mentioning that I will be leaving links in the description below to archives of the sources used, but unfortunately, YouTube has decided to go to war with archival websites, to the tune of potentially punishing channels that use them in their description. So instead of giving IGN money or getting myself kicked off of YouTube altogether, I have chosen to simply not leave sources this time. Not that I believe that the these sources would have added much to the conversation as a whole anyways, as most of this video had very little to do with them. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.